so hello everyone so welcome to this session of uh, control system so we are continuing with the problems of signal flow graph okay so now this is the second question draw the signal flow graph for the block diagram and find the transfer function c of s by r of s using mason's gain formula so here they have given a typical block diagram for this we need to draw first the signal flow graph and after that we need to be uh, seeing the forward paths, loop gains, non-touching loops and all of them and finally using those things we need to be finding the transfer function using Mason's gain formula okay so first thing let's uh, uh, draw one single forward path so we know that wherever there are summing points takeoff points uh, convert all of them into uh, nodes into also the, in this first path we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 6, 7, 8 and 9 so we need to be drawing 9 nodes first ok 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 ok uh, by counting all the summing points and takeoff points after that write all the values ok so here we have 1 there is nothing mentioned so here also it is 1 so this is g1 in place of here we have g1 right and this is again 1 1 g2 1 1 g3 ok and from this point To this point we have one path that is this h2 path okay so this is minus h2 oh sorry this is the wrong from here to here okay so this path is minus sorry g4 so i'm writing for this here okay and from this point to this point we have one more path that is minus h2 okay from here to here and after that from this point that is this summing point till the end this is h3 and from here to here we have one more loop g5 and from here to here we have one more loop with the unity feedback minus one okay so yeah this is the typical signal flow graph with all the values so please uh, ignore this mistake here so this loop goes here okay and this loop goes here like this okay yeah so now let's quickly write all the forward paths and all so yeah see i have written all the forward paths loop gains and non-touching loops so now i'm going to explain this how this has come so here the first path is p1 is equal to g1 g2 g3 so so look at the figure here so the first path is that i am considering the first single path that is multiply all the terms 1 into 1 into g1 1 1 g2 1 1 g3 so g1 into g2 into g3 that's the first path and the second path is g4 g2 g3 see here from here it goes so which is g4 yeah so this is g4 here g4 g2 g3 okay third path is g1 g5 g3 g1 g5 g3 g1 g5 g3 right after that p4 is g4 g2 h2 g5 g3 minus with a minus sign that is 1 1 uh, g4 g2 after that it goes to h2 then it comes again g5 and g3 okay so these are the four power forward paths similarly the loop gains by seeing the loops you can recognize we have, we have got seven loop gains and after that we have got seven non-touching loops with all the delta values is equal to one okay yeah so now after that 
After that, use the Mason's gain formula for to find the transfer function C of s by R of s. That is summation of P k delta k divided by delta. Okay. So now let's find the value of uh, transfer function. Summation of P k delta k. Okay. So the value of delta k is delta one to delta seven. All the values are one. So we need to be uh, Considering all the loop gains p1 plus p2 plus p3 plus p4 that is g1 g2 g3 plus g4 g2 g3 plus g1 g5 g3 minus g4 g2 h2 g5 g3 divided by 1 minus so in order to calculate delta, we will be considering one minus uh, summation of all the uh, loop gains. That is L1 plus L2 plus L3 plus L4 up to L7. So after substituting the value of all the loops, that is minus G2 H2 plus G3 H3 minus g4 g2 g3 minus g1 g2 g3 g1 g5 g3 plus g4 g2 h2 g5 g3 okay so after further simplifying we will be getting the answer as so yeah this is a final transfer function so I have just multiplied this minus term to all the terms and I have just written it, okay. So this is your final value of transfer function, okay. So this is one problem here, this is very important, you can refer it down. So in the next session we are going to solve two more problems and uh, wind up this module. So yeah, that's all, thank you.